about us now with Nancy Skinner, syndicated radio talk show host, and Jason Lewis, a conservative syndicated radio host. Good to have you both here. Uh, Nancy, he, he hi, laid out, uh, hi, he laid out very specifically uh, what his charges are. Clearly, his argument is going to be sort of along the lines of Reagan Carter in 1980. Are you better off than you were when you elected this man, when you elected Barack Obama? He says no. <laughs> well, clearly, the answer to that question is yes. And, and what Mitt is doing is laying out the case of how badly President Bush screwed up our economy to get us to this point and how much he has had to do. Look, he faced a liquidity crisis, a run in the banks, a collapse of the auto industry, a collapse of the commercial market, uh, so many uh, factors he had to deal with, a war in Iraq. What has he done? He, he has, you know, and he's said even sometimes imperfectly, fixed all those. The auto companies are back to being profitable. The banks are liquid. Uh, you know, it, the uh, GDP went from negative six uh, points to positive right. six points. Uh, it, jobs it, are slowly growing. He's done. How could you, uh, you know, there, what can you say about what he hasn't done? I guess, I guess when they go in there and they pull that lever in terms of whether or not the country's on the right track or the wrong track. I just looked up the most recent numbers uh, in some of the polling. Uh, Rasmussen, 66% of the country, Nancy, believes that we're on the wrong track. And that, obviously, you know, when you just look at the numbers and over the course of presidential history, that's a very tough number if you're, if you're trying to be reelected, as is this employment number. Historically, it's very tough to get reelected with an unemployment employment number uh, north of 8 percent. You know, Rasmussen polls are, are conservative, notoriously. Uh, Bush had a, a, a 56 percent approval last week. He killed bin Laden. Bush was, and Cheney were going to smoke him out of his hole. Uh, Obama killed him, okay? And, 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 and Lewis's point on the auto industry, now the auto industry not only is profitable, they're paying back all their loans, they have Chevy Volts, they have all new electric vehicles. We are, we are <laughs> poised but just look, Nancy, to just start looking at the numbers. The numbers and, 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 and across the board, yeah, basically, in terms of real clear, Nancy, just so you know, uh, it goes basically from 50 percent to 66 percent in terms of wrong track across the, the real clear politics averages. So, uh, it, you know, it's an interesting measure. It sometimes can tell but us real something. Clear, you're, you're, you're quoting real clear policy and Rasmussen. Okay, let, let's look at New York Times, uh, Wall Street Journal. Well, this they has the NBC poll. News. This, this, this is an average, Nancy. Okay, it, that's a different uh, poll. Can I just tell you what's in the ones I just quoted? Nancy, wrong. Nancy, because you just made a charge. I want to answer it. In, in the mix of, the, of those polls for right track, wrong track, is NBC News, Associated Press, Newsweek, uh, Daily Beast, uh, and Reuters and Rasmussen, okay? Uh, just, just to be on the record, those are the polls that are included in the Wall real Street clear Journal, average. Owned by your company. Yeah, Wall we'll Street check Journal. We'll, we'll look at those two. I'm telling you that when you look at the average of all of these, that's where it is. I'm not, I can't make up the numbers. The numbers are in front of me, okay? So anyway, uh, it, it's an, you know, we're going to have this discussion as we go forward. Are you better off now than you were <laughs> four years ago is going to be central to all yes, of this. So it's absolutely. a good discussion to have. I think, uh, 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 despite your polls, I will answer yeah, that unequivocal. Equivocally, yes, right. people are better off than they were four years ago. They, that, they didn't have jobs. They were worried that their, their whole right. life savings, their 401ks were dead. All right, Nancy, thank you very much. Uh, Jason.